was popping. Damn, bitch, get over it. Car running over in my lane. Stay in your own lane. Can't be scared to fail in search of perfection. Gotta keep it fresh. Even when you're sex, it's gonna be mad at them when they're on to the next one. <laughs> oh, man. What's good, man? Let me talk to y'all, man. Um, why do y'all get mad at women when you should be mad at yourself? Women are humans just like men. So all the shit that you see men do to women, why the fuck? All the shit y'all see men do to women, women are capable of doing to men. Why do men act like you're the only one she's going to talk to or you're the only one she finds attractive? It's not going to happen, dog. The only way this happens is if she thinks you're the best. If she thinks you're the best she can get. And even then, ain't no guarantees in this shit. This is why I don't get mad at an ex. This is why I'm not mad at an ex. Because I chose the ex. I, I chose every girl I've been with. So why would I be mad at them? You know, I'm just glad for the experience. Good and bad. Because in the end, the good and bad experience is going to make me get over it. I'll fuck you over. I don't want to drive that fast yet. One head like motherfucker. The experience is going to make me good and bad. So it doesn't matter. You know, I mean, not make me good and bad. The good and bad experience is going to make me better. I'm just going to use it as fuel to get better. So that's why you don't hear me talking bad about exes and shit. Because I chose the people. See, men will talk about how bad women are and who they choose and how bad of men they choose. But men always ignore who they choose as for their woman or who they choose to deal with. It's like it doesn't matter to men who they choose. But it does matter. It does matter. This is why looks are overrated. Even though looks are important, they're still overrated. They're very important. As a man, there's no way around it. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and act like it doesn't matter. It does matter. Looks do matter. But they're overrated because a lot of y'all end up, you know, you, you show on Facebook, your, your girl, look look what I got. Look at my trophy. And then next thing you know, you crying on Facebook, cussing the girl out, cussing everybody who she hang out with, out and all this other shit. Making yourself look out of character and everything else. All because you don't want to take, um, you don't want to take into consideration and admit that it matters what type of woman you pick. At the end of the day, it matters what type of woman you pick. No way around it. See, we can sit, we can sit back all day long, twenty four seven, and tell women you you pick the wrong dude. That's what that's what it is. You fuck up the wrong one. But when it comes to us, but when it comes to men, you don't want to do, that. This shit don't count. It don't matter, huh? It does matter, bro. It does matter. I know you're not going to pick that that 500 pound woman over that model. And the 500 pound woman might be the right woman for you and the model is going to do you like dirt. But you're still going to pick that one. We already know what time it is. There's really no way out of this. You know what I'm saying? This is why you need God, man. Because you cut off. You need to work on yourself too because the more, I feel like this, the more you become a better person within yourself. And the more you love yourself, the more you're going to realize what's important in a woman and what's not. See, a lot of y'all picking the wrong woman because you still stuck on the same 15-year-old um, mentality and taste buzz of what you like in a woman. You still on that 15-year-old shit. That shit that you've been doing in elementary. Now, some of that shit will never leave, and it's fine that it never leaves. But some of that shit got to go. Like, certain things you like about a woman fine if, if it's not something that's going to be a bad thing then it's cool but some of that shit is bad shit and it or it doesn't matter should i say like it doesn't matter if her ass is big or not okay she can't have no ass at all i get it 
But y'all out here measuring asses and shit. Like, well, hers is three inches bigger than this one, so I'm picking this one. Or she's light skinned or she's dark skinned or whatever the skinned it. Whatever, all this dumb ass shit that don't matter. This shit don't matter. Why are y'all so surprised when, when she picks somebody else? The kid got up tight when he heard I pick another one. Hump them, then I'm done with them. I don't fall in love with them. Most they get from me, wet pussy and some bubble gum. These is what type of mentalities that women have, man. It's over with. Get over it. it, it this ain't the 60s no more. Men had, men had it made and you fucked it up. You fumbled the ball. Now women are doing what you're doing. Women are moving like men move. Not all of them, but most of them. Or should I say it like this? If a woman don't really like you like that, she's going to move like a man move. She's going to move like a player type. Of, what do I mean? You're going to get late text or no text or flaking or this or that. Lies, uh, deceit, whatever. Because she really don't like you like that. Now, the one she really likes, she's going to cooperate with him. I don't know if he's going to cooperate back. But if she really like you, she'll cooperate. But you also got people acting like they like you to get certain things from you and then when they get it or they don't, or they jump ship and think they find somebody else, they gone. And you sitting there looking dumb. My thing is this, who gives a fuck? You should already be prepared for that. Oh, okay, she might leave. She's not mine, she's never mine. She, she, she's never mine, I mean, put it like this. I don't, I don't determine whether she's mine or not, she does. I don't determine if a woman's mine or not. She does. All this, that my man, my woman bullshit. Man, people are who they want to be. People choose to be with you. They want to be with you or not. And some of y'all going to find out the hard way that you really ain't got no authority over that shit, man. At all. Ain't no way I'm getting in my feelings like that, man. I'd be salty like, damn, um, I thought we could have been something. But I'm not going to sweat it. I'm like, it happened for a reason. Must be something better. Must be something else God wants me to see. Oh, well. Life moves on. But I won't be shocked about it or act like, damn, I thought I was the only guy she would ever look at or, or talk to. or All this crazy ass shit, man. Most women are moving like men move. Plain and simple. For a number of reasons. Some of them just players. That's just what they are. And then some of them are doing it because they're scared that you're doing it. So they don't want to fully commit to you. So they just move accordingly. Everybody talking to everybody. But y'all men act surprised when it comes back on you. So you was doing this shit this whole time. And then you find somebody you like. And now you see how I feel. Now you see how women been feeling this whole time. You're not going to be the only one they talk to. I don't give a fuck what you say. You could be the best one. That's about all you could do. Be the best one. And if she don't pick you, then she fucked up. She got to live with that. But crying in a car or Facebook because some girl did this or that, that is not the move, man. That is not the move at all. You know what I mean? Uh, you should know better. For one, you shouldn't be acting like a woman's a wife and she ain't proved shit yet. A lot of y'all let women gas you up, man. That's why I tell y'all about not letting a woman stroke your ego. You can't, man. You just can't. Until you know that woman really for real. Like, I really know that she really liked me to feel that way. Then I guess you could, it's okay. But until then... Just let it go off one in in there, one ear and out the other. Like, psh. like you appreciate it, but at the same time, you're like, okay, we'll see. Because at any given moment, another guy could show up in their face. I don't like you, no. I don't think I like him no more. And then you men crying on Facebook, saying bitch this, bitch that, but you was fucking with the chick. A lot of y'all just like bad women. It's just the truth. Just like you say women like bad men, a lot of y'all men like bad women. And that's why you're getting shitted on. You like the bad bitch. You don't like the wifey type chick, man. Or you or you like the girl that 
don't really like you. You don't like the one that really like you. You want the ones that really don't like you and you're going to get shitted on. Plain and simple. If she acting like she really don't like you, then let her pursue. You as a man, you try to pursue, and she want to act like she don't want to be pursued, that's on her. If she reciprocates, then that's a whole different story. But if she want to act like, uh, I don't really want to pursue back, okay, let, it's on her now. She got way too many options for you to try to pursue and apply pressure to a woman that got thousands of options. This one, Women know what the fuck they want. Y'all confused thinking women don't know what they want. That's the biggest bullshit ever. They know what they want, bro. They know if it's you or not. So if you don't know, then it ain't you. Ain't no woman mysteriously hiding that she likes you. That's bullshit, dog. And I mean, of course, now you do have women who could be shy about it and all that shit. But if you let it be known you like her and she's supposed to like you like that, no way she's hiding that shit. She might be shy about it and take her time and, and, and be cautious, but you're going to know that the girl's trying or something. But y'all just let women gas y'all up and tell y'all what y'all want to hear. And y'all already cashing out to them and all this other shit. I told y'all about that. Taking a woman on a trip and you don't even know the chick. The only way I'm going on a trip with a woman that I don't know that really like me like that, if she, she going to have then, and I don't even believe in that. You can ask any ex I ever took on a trip. I pay for all that. As a man, I, I'm cool with that. But I, I was, I knew that they cared about me. But if I don't know a woman care about me, no, you're gonna have to go half, or or maybe I pay most. But you, you doing something? Cause I don't know if you really fuck with me like that. See, a lot of us men want to give these women the world, man. But if it's the wrong woman, you, it, it means nothing, dog. You're giving a woman a world and she still want to fuck him and him and him. How many times I got to tell y'all, man, it's all about the woman who really wants you. But y'all base so much shit off of looks that you just, dis you don't even pay attention to women who actually do want you. you rather trade that in. you rather trade a woman who will basically do anything for you, basically bow down and treat you like God. You'd rather trade that in for a woman and who wants you to treat her like God because she looks a little bit better. It's not worth it. The juice ain't worth the squeeze. Ain't no way I'm picking a so-called 10 in my eyes that wants me to treat her like God. Even though I would treat her like a goddess if she looks at me like a God, right? But that's not the point. The point is, ain't no way I would t trade in a 10 that wants me to treat her like God when I got this seven that that thinks I'm basically God. It don't make this is what y'all complain about women. Well, you had a good guy, but you didn't. Well, you wanted Chad and Tyrone. Look what happened. Yeah, same thing with y'all men. Why the fuck is that up there like that? Same thing with y'all men, man. I was about to say. Fucking windshield wiper better not be fucking up. Same thing with the men. It's very important, man, to analyze why you like a woman. Because a lot of that shit is childish shit that you like about a woman. And it don't even matter. It don't even matter a lot of that shit, man. Mo Believe it or not, man, it's not just the women choosing the bad, the bad ones. It's the men, too. It's the men, too, because cause they go off of looks and sex. Primarily looks. Is why they choose a woman. Let's be real about it. It's primarily looks. It ain't about the woman being a great woman and nothing. They don't give a fuck about that shit. They should, but they don't. And then when they have a kid by the girl, now they on child. She keeping it, keeping you from your kid and shit like that because you're not looking at the morals of the female. You think because she looked good that nothing, nothing else matters. It don't matter if she's basically Freddy Krueger's daughter. Killing motherfuckers every night. It don't matter. Because she look good. This is the problem. So you're going to get burned. This is the same thing a lot of women do. I know he's a dog, but I'm attracted to him, so I'm going to do it anyway. I'm just going to hope to God that he doesn't do what I know. he He's, he's a snake, but I'm going to hope, hope to God that he's not. Or he, I'm going to hope to God he don't bite me. You know what I mean?
I'm sure there's a lot of women in the world that carry themselves like bad bitches that would be honorable, great ass females. But I'm not even going to even uh, I'm not even going to risk that. If it looks like a bad bitch, then I'm just going to assume it's a bad bitch. I'm not going to try to make this chick a, 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 a girlfriend. None of that. Because I understand the, the whole um, I understand the whole dynamic of picking the woman. I'd rather take my chances with a female that seems like she actually wants to be that. Like she actually wants to be somebody's woman. And that's another thing. Ladies as pimps to go and brush your shoulders off, right? That's what that's what he means by that. A lot of y'all just don't get it. A lot of these women are just players, man. I don't understand why you think because it's a female that she can't be a player. She can be just like these dudes, just like your homeboys. The same shit. A woman could be like that. In fact, she could probably be worse. She could be better at it. Because it's easier for women to get... It's easier for women to get men with their their looks and their manipulation and all that. So they, they actually could be better players than men. And a lot of times they are actually better players than men. Also, a lot of y'all men, y'all let y'all egos get to y'all, man. Y'all think, well, she shit on him. You know, she's a cheater. She shit on him. But she ain't going to do that to me because cause my, my dick's the best. You know, because she told me my dick's the best. And, and she told me I'm the best man she ever seen and spelt and all this shit. So she ain't going to do that shit to me, dog. She ain't talking to no other guy but me. Clown. You're a fool, man. I hate to say it. You're a fool. And you're going to suffer. So even if you popping, you got money and this and that, blah, blah, blah. Pick the wrong woman, all that shit gone out the window. Poof, gone. This is how serious and important it is to pick the right woman. Period. A lot of y'all just can't accept that the woman don't like you like that. She ain't text me for a week, but I just think there's a chance that she really likes me. More than likely not. Especially if y'all fucked already. More than likely she probably don't. She probably texts another guy. I guarantee you the, I guarantee you there's one guy that she probably can't stop hitting up every day. Guarantee it. If you're not that guy, then just leave the woman alone, man. Stop going out your way thinking you got to do all these extra things to make a woman like you. Because you really don't. And the proof is in the pudding. When they pick a guy that ignored them or treats them like shit and they still trying to like him. There's all the proof you fucking need. I don't understand, man. There's a woman out there that likes you just like that. But your lust ain't gonna allow it, is it? You just gotta have that light-skinned one or or that blonde-haired one or whatever one you like because you're lust. And, and it's okay to a certain extent. But you still gotta make sure it's from the right person. Let's just say I'm just stuck on... Let's just say... For hypothetically saying, say I, I like light skinned girls, and that's all I want. I can't help it. I like light skinned girls. Let's just say this. Then I better make sure I can't just pick anyone. Like man, just because I like light skinned girl, I know this girl's a liar, and I know she really ain't liking me like that. But I'm gonna try to like her anyway. I can't do that. I gotta try to hopefully be able to find the right light skinned girl. That's the only thing I could do about it. But that's why I don't just like a light-skinned girl. That's why I'm open to any type of woman. Because I'm no fool. What if what if the woman that is meant for me is this looking or that looking? I don't know. My wife might be black. I don't know what my wife so supposed to be like. But that's part of me understanding and growing as a person and understanding what's important in a woman. How are you going to pick the right person if y'all still not picking the shit that's important to a person y'all still lusting over shit y'all still lusting over 15 year old shit that don't matter and you're getting 15 year old results in the end I like big butts right but a girl ain't gotta have no fucking huge ass but a guy she gotta have an ass though something gotta have a little hump or something but you know what? I take a girl with a small ass if she was perfect in all other aspects. I didn't say flat. I said small. Like pushing it, but she's perfect in everything else. I'm like, fuck it. 
Fuck it. It's not worth losing all that great shit she got over that little ass shit right there. Just like it's not worth ignoring all the bullshit over that little shit that they got. She got, she's light skinned or whatever. I, I just keep saying that as an example. You know what I'm saying? But man ain't gonna get it because they, they visual. You know what I mean? I know how hard it is as a man to restrict yourself from the visual aspect of a female, but it's very important. That's why I keep saying it and I'm gonna keep saying it. Looks don't matter. They don't matter. They can't matter. If you're if you're trying if you just trying to get even if you just try to get pussy, it don't matter. Because the girl that might not look as good as her might have way better sex than the other one. That's another thing that y'all not looking at. Good looks don't mean good sex. She might not do shit in bed. Because she looks so good, she's like, I'm just going to lay here. You got to please me. Then the other girl, she looked good too. But not as good as that one, but she looked good too. And she doing everything. Sometimes y'all just cutting your own hand. Also, a lot of y'all say that they like bad guys, which may be true, but guess what? If a woman likes bad guys, what does that say about that woman, man? Why do you care about those women? Why not look for women who like good guys? This is what I don't understand about men. All these things you complain about, you're doing the same thing that the women are doing. They complain about Pookie and Ray Ray, Chad and Tyrone, instead of picking the good guy, right? I'm just going to complain about the bad guy all the time, 24-7, and hope to God he changes one day. Because the devil has put me under the illusion that this guy is better than the actual good guy. Even though I want this bad guy to be like the good guy. But instead of me picking the good guy, I just got to pick him. Because felons and, 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 and no license and shit equals better dick and whatever the fuck else they say. Whatever the else the devil got them thinking and lying about. Or, you know, or got them believing a lie about, should I say? That's what y'all men are doing. That's what you're doing, bro. I hate to say it, and I, and I know you ain't going to, I know men don't want to hear it. But it's the truth. You're doing the same exact thing that women do. Where's the lie? Where's the difference? There is no difference. Think about it. Think about the red kip, red pill videos. Then think about when they talk about females. Now ask yourself, are they talking about good women? Then ask yourself, why are you even why do these women even exist? If the objective is to get a good woman, why do they exist? Because good women do not fall under the categories of the shit you see on these videos. So with that being said, either I'm a hypocrite that tells women don't like bad men, uh, but I'm going to do the same thing, vice versa with the women, or I'm ignorant and don't know no better. It's one or the other. Cause there, there's no other way. There's no other way to explain it. This is why I don't. I don't care if a woman don't like a good. Uh, she don't like a good dude. Okay, fine. A lot of you. This is what y'all do. After you fuck, dog. Don't hit him up. Let her hit her up. Nope. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit her up. After I fuck, I'm hitting her up the next day. Why? Because now I'm gonna test her to see if she thinks that I'm some weak guy or. or uh, I got him in the bag. Now I can pull off the mask. You see, I'm going to get to it right away. I'm not going to play the game with her. Nope, I'm going to hit her up right the next day. If I feel, if I don't feel like hitting her up, I wouldn't. But more than likely, I'm going to do that because I don't want that woman to feel like I just robbed the bank. Like I just fucked her and dashed off. No, I'm going to hit her up. I'm a, I ain't going to be thirsty like, man, I want to see you again, whatever, blah. I'm just going to hit her up for a second. And that's that. And see how she reacts. Test her. Because nine times out of ten, they're going to fail. Because they're going to think, either they're going to think that 
you're you're thirsty or they're going to think they got you and they're going to pull that mask off if they is wearing a mask. But if it's a woman that really wanted to fuck with you, she's going to be honored that you hit her up. She probably going to feel some type of way if you didn't hit her up. Because she really likes you. See, when you're dealing with these female players, though, those are the ones that, that get mad or, or, or look at you a certain way because you hit them, because you did the right thing. Basically, you fucked the girl last night, you hit her up today, see how she's doing. You did the right thing. A female player is the one that got a problem with this shit, not a good woman. You're not making sense, man. A female player is the one that got a problem with you texting her back right away. Not a Not the right woman. Man, I'm not living my life. Oh, she just texted me. Oh, I'm just going to wait for two hours. Because you're dealing with a woman who... who, who um, you're dealing with a female who... I'm turned off because he texts me back right away. Why do you want a woman like that? Everything y'all say about this shit in the video is... Lines up to no good women. Think about it. You see the parallel? Because I see it. Once I realize that shit... Even though the game is great. I love the game. So I can uh, so I can filter out who's the good women, who's the bad women. But as far as like when it comes to picking the right woman, if I gotta sit back and wait 20, 20 minutes or uh, two hours to text her back or her pussy will dry up, that's crazy. That don't that don't even sound like a woman to me. That sound like a creature or some shit. Or I gotta have a rotation of women, or she thinks nobody wants me and I'm not valuable. The right woman's not going to think that. She's going to honor that. Like, look, he's not like the rest. He ain't got a bunch of women he's trying to fuck with. See, this is where y'all go wrong, man. Y'all trying to attract trash. You're not trying to attract a, a top-notch shit. Think about it. Think long and hard about this shit. Who are you trying to attract? If you want to attract bad bitches and hoes and shit, then go ahead, get a rotation, so they'll honor that, don't text them back right away, so they'll honor that, treat them like shit, so they'll honor that, but think about what you're attracting when you do that, what are you trying to attract, understand what I'm saying here in this video, what are you trying to attract, bro, and even if those women ain't trash, right, if you got to do all that shit, that woman don't really like you, man. If you got to do all this, I'm not going to text back so she'll see that I'm high value. Think about it. I, I'm going to wait two hours to text back so she'll see that I'm high value. That's not the right woman for you, fam. I don't understand it. I'm not doing that. If I can't be real with a woman and be happy that I, she texted and texted her back right away if I want to, man, there's no point in all that. All this childish ass bullshit and y'all wonder why y'all don't get something real. Because you're playing games in the first place. You're being fake to get their attraction in the first place. Fuck that shit. Dog. Don't believe the hype. Don't believe the lies. The right, the right person is not going to be turned off because you text them back right away. This is what the world got y'all believing though. The world got y'all believing that you got to play the game to attract the right person. It's the biggest crock of bullshit ever. Ain't no way in hell I'm going to get mad because a woman texts me back right away. If anything, I'm going to be like, hey, that girl didn't text me back. She must be on some bullshit. I don't know if I really want to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't get mad, though. I just It is what it is. I guess she don't want to. To me, if, they don't, if she didn't text back, she didn't want to text back. She don't like me. She didn't want to like me. That's just how I see it. And I, and I feel like, well, maybe there's something better. It's got to be something better. How could there not be something better than somebody who really don't like me? How could there not be something better than somebody who really don't like you? Or maybe they do like you, but they like him and him and him. Or maybe he does like you, but he likes her, her, and her. That, that don't count to me. That don't count to me. If you like me and other people, well, the only thing we could possibly do is fuck. If that. Because I really don't like that. I really don't like fucking someone and other people are fucking them. I don't like that. I don't know where that other person been or is doing. I don't like that shit. You can say it's controlling. You can say whatever. But to me, why settle? Why settle for a woman that I got to share with other men when there's a woman that I can sh have all to myself? At some point, eventually, there's a woman I can have to myself. 
That's how I see it. That's how y'all should see it. Why well, I gotta play these texting games when there's a woman that's gonna love the fact that I text her back right away? It don't make fucking sense, man. Who are you trying to attract? Sounds to me that a lot of men are mad over pussy, not women. You're not mad over women being bad women. You're mad over pussy. You're mad because of the game, because you're trying to run the game, and they're not allowing you to run the game to get the pussy. That's what you're mad about. That's what I think. Because if you was mad over good women, you wouldn't even be using that strategy to attract a good woman because you don't need those strategies. You don't need the, the, the uh, deception strategies and I'm not going to text her back right away strategies to attract the, uh, the right woman. Now I get it. If a woman don't really know you yet, ain't no no sense of just blowing her phone up and shit. You could run her off. She don't know you like that yet. You could be a stalker or anything. But after some point, like she got some type of feeling, like feeling you out process type shit. She gonna actually feel a certain way if you don't text her back. She gonna start thinking, you know what? Maybe this guy's just on some bullshit. Maybe this guy's talking to multiple people. I, I'm leaving him alone. Sounds to me like y'all like the women that are okay with men who do these type of things. And guess what it usually equals when it's women who are okay with men who do these type of things. Texting them back late and, and uh, treating them like shit and all that. What does that usually mean? That means that woman's probably been destroyed and, and battered and used by a lot of men. She's used to that. That's what y'all want? Or would you rather have the woman who actually appreciates something solid? Or, not only that, she won't put up with that shit. She won't put up with your texting back, playing games all the time. She's not going to get ran through. She hasn't been ran through. Why hasn't she been ran through like that? Because the moment she sniffs out the bullshit, she's gone. Think about it. You want the woman that allows you to put up with the bullshit. So if she puts up your, with your bullshit ass games of texting back late and all this other shit. How many other men has she put it up, put up with doing this shit? Versus the women who won't put up with it. That means she ain't been putting it up, putting up with it with many other men either. Not just you. See how when you do the right thing, it, it usually attracts the right person. Do the wrong thing, you're usually going to attract the wrong person. That's just what it is, man. And and don't get mad at women for it. Get mad at yourself. You made that choice. You made the choice. No woman put a gun in your head and said, pick me. You did that shit. You're the man. You're the leader. You fucked up. Admit it. And once you, if you don't admit it, you're going to keep doing it. You're going to keep picking bad women until you admit, you know what? I picked the wrong type of women. Let me sit back and analyze let me let me just leave women alone for a minute so I can sit back and analyze what the fuck a good woman is. Then let me go from there. But a lot of men just they just like hoes, man. It is what it is. That's what they like. But they'll cry that they doing the same thing women do. They want the hoes to be a good woman. You want the hoes to be the wife, and it's not gonna happen. You can't turn a hole into a housewife, bro. Now, if a woman was this and she decided to change her life, that's on her. She could do it. You can't. She can do it. You can't. Has nothing to do with you. That's between her and God. But y'all not hearing me. Y'all going to try to change. Y'all think y'all can change these women. You let them gas your head up. You're the best ever I've ever had and this and this and that and that. And somebody fought. Oh, I'm the best you ever had. So that's why she's not a hoe no more. Even though she was just a hoe two months ago. She ain't a hoe no more though. though because she meant me. I'm the best. Leave what you want, bro. Never going to be the only one they're attracted to. That's number one. Even if the woman really fuck with you. She's still going to find other men attractive. So I don't even know why that's even in the thoughts of y'all fucking heads. Get over it. You're never going to be the only one she's attracted to. However, there is a thing called respect. Commitment. Shit like that. Morals. Just like a woman's never going to be the only one I'm attracted to. But, 
how I feel and how I move is what keeps me from dealing with another woman if I'm fucking with that woman. You see that? It's not the fact that she's the only woman I'm attracted to. No, nah, that'll never happen. But who I am as a person. And that's where women fuck up when it comes to men. They don't understand that there's just certain men that actually get off with just finding this top-notch chick that nobody else can get in. They want to be exclusive to her. Then there's men who get off on how many women they can fuck and shit. And, that, and that's just what it is. And they're going to keep doing it. Of course, they're going to lie to you and come in the, the, the name of love and husband and all this other shit. But we already know what time it is. That's just to get more pussy. So I can brag I got more under my belt type shit. That's all it's about, man. It's all about benefits, man. Everybody out for benefits. That's why it's important to get with a motherfucker that don't really need you. You know what I'm saying? It's important, man, because if they don't really need you and they trying to fuck with you, I mean, they probably like you. <laughs> Pretty safe to say they probably like you. But it really ain't even about you sometimes. I think that's what we air too. I think it's more about are they looking for, do they desire to have an exclusive relationship or do they desire to just have fun and fuck with multiple people? That's what it really boiled down to more than if somebody likes you or not or likes this one or that one or not. It's more of do they, de what do they desire? Do they desire exclusive relationship or do they desire to just fuck around with people? Start from there first and before you even think of, think that you have a chance with a person. If a woman wants to have fun and she doesn't want to be tied down to one guy right now and all this and all that, ain't no way in hell. I'd be a damn fool to believe that I could change that. No, I can't change that. That woman has to be ready for this. She has to say in her mind, I'm done uh, playing around. I want, a, I want an exclusive boyfriend. Then maybe I might have a shot, but until then, nah. I'm just another guy. I'm just another guy. And a lot of men, they don't get this. You know, because they get off on the same thing a woman do. I get off on, I took her away from y'all niggas. I made her uh, not want to fuck around no more. You thought you did. She ran game on you. That's what happened. That's exactly what's happening. A lot of them only fuck with y'all for, for what they need. Attention, comfort, and shit like that has nothing to do with you. So when she's gone, now you feeling stupid. But you should already know from jump that if a woman's fucking with you, it's for a reason. And you got to be okay with that. Hopefully it's for the right reason. You know what I mean? But more than likely, it's probably not. But there are some women who will fuck with you for the right reason. Plain and simple. What's the right reason? She's trying to actually try to get with, try to spend her life with you. That, if it's not that, then everything else is the wrong reason. But then again, a lot of y'all, man, you just want sex. So you're already your own victim. You're already, you're already sealing your own faith. Fate, should I say. Because you just want sex. So you're going to play, since you just want sex, you're... You're putting yourself in that type of environment or that type of energy of where people just want sex. And what you put out in the universe is what you're going to get back, basically. And you won't have that mentality, too. If you are a guy that just wants sex, you're probably going to err and pick the wrong woman. Because your mindset is, I just want sex. So your mindset ain't going to be, it, man, does she talk to other guys and this? You're not going to think like that. It's not how you're going to pick that chick, man. Because you're just thinking about, I just want to kick and have fun and just fuck. So, your mindset is not going to be the same. But if you had the mindset of, man, I'm looking for a solid chick to be with. The only I can have and nobody else can have. The moment you see the other shit, you're going to know, well, I can't really take her serious. Can't take that one serious. Because your mindset is different now. It's not just, I just want to fuck. You know what I mean? That's why women choose better men when they get older. Because at first their mindset is, I just want to have fun. So when a man talk about marrying me, oh, get away. I don't want no, I don't want that right now. I want to party and have fun. 
But then when she gets older, now she wants to settle down. Now she wants the guys that actually wanted what they wanted back then, that, that exclusive relationship type shit, because now her mindset is different. That's why she chooses different now. Plain and simple, man. Got the same car I got. Different color, though. Hey, man. I guess I'm going to get in here, man. It is what it is, man. A lot, a lot of y'all women, y'all need to peep this out, though. A lot of men do not know... Um, they don't pick the right woman either. It's not it's not just one way. And and reason why you really need to peep this out is because it's very important to know. It's very important to know because it could kind of help determine help you determine if they really like you or not. You could kind of tell like what they're looking for, why would they pick you and all this other shit or what type of women they pick and shit like that. In other words, you're going to know that, okay, he's a player. I can't really do nothing with him. Maybe I'll fuck or something, but that's about it. I can't take him serious. You're going to know that. But some of them, some women know that and they still do it. So I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> that attraction shit's a motherfucker, man. That attraction make everybody, the attraction make you throw all the rules out the window. Like, I don't care. I'm just going to just do it anyway. That's not a good thing, man. Because nine times out of ten, it ain't even worth it. Don't let your lust do that to you, man. Lust, Your lust will fuck around and cause you to miss out on real love, man. Pick the wrong guy. You might not ever want to deal with a guy like that ever again. That's, what's, that's what happened with a lot of these people who are players now. They picked the wrong person. And they got burned a couple times or once or whatever. And now they the players. They don't want to love no more. Somebody hurt them, you know. I've been hurt a few times. And I'm sure I hurt them in ways too. But at the end of the day, I still don't desire to be no player. I still don't desire to just sleep around with a bunch of women. I just don't, man. I don't know. I just never really did. Maybe when I was a teenager. But after about 18... I didn't desire that shit no more, and I still don't. I just feel like, why would I want to do that and share a bunch of women that are sleeping with a bunch of men when I could just, if you go about it right, you could get the right chick that'll just be for you, you could be for her. And it's just better that way. Sex is better, everything. It means more when you sleep with somebody you actually like. And I mean, instead of just fucking somebody. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. There's a difference. Not saying that just fucking somebody ain't good, but it don't compare to when you actually care about the person. Difference. There's levels to this shit. Believe that. Believe that shit. Because it means more. It means something. It, mean, it actually means something when you fuck somebody you like, you love, or care about. I mean, versus just, I'm just going to fuck this person tonight. That's cool and all, but it ain't the same. Then you got to deal with the headache of the games and Nobody got time for that shit, man. Life's too short. Got to make money and all this other shit. How you going to do all that when you got a woman or man destroying your fucking mental and playing with your mind and emotions and shit? Fuck all that shit, man. Fuck all that shit, man. Shit ain't worth it, y'all. Start choosing better, man. Well, you be like old dude on Facebook today. I ain't saying no names. But you going to be just like that. Cussing them out, mad than a motherfucker. And guess what? Those same people, them same men, them same men, they say, I ain't listen to your video. Fuck your video. And then, okay. Now look. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just a guy just running my mouth, right? So if you're a good woman and you didn't get picked by a guy, a lot of times that guy, his decision making was off anyway. So you don't want that as a leader anyway. <laughs> so it's, it's probably a good thing. You know what I'm saying? If you know you're a good woman, 
Now, sometimes people are just not attracted to you, but if you know you're a good woman and the guy didn't pick you, it's only one of two things. Either he's not attracted to you or he just, he doesn't, he, he don't pick good women. There's no other way around it. And, and let's just say it's because of attraction. If that's the case, I guarantee you he will end up with a good woman. But if it's just because he's just a horrible choice maker, watch what happens. He's going to pick somebody and get shitted on. He's going to pick a bad bitch and she's going to shit on you. That's what I say about women. When they, when they say, when men say women don't like the good guy, now, there, there's two things to that. Sometimes it's not because they don't like the good guy. Sometimes they're just not attracted to you. But one thing I will say about when a woman is just was just simply not attracted to you and it didn't have nothing to do with her rejecting the characteristics of a good guy, that woman will pick a good guy. It won't be you, but you will see that she will be with a good guy, right? Now, if it's the woman who are like toxic shit and they are toxic, and horrible choice makers and shit and she don't pick you the so called good guy right and it wasn't attraction right you'll see you'll see she going up with a toxic situation so why do y'all care i never under you know why they i know why you care you care because of the looks because if the girl was a thousand pounds if every woman who picked bad guys was a thousand pounds and not attractive, you could just say a thousand pounds. Every woman who picked a bad guy was a thousand pounds. No man, every man would be quiet about it. They wouldn't even give a fuck who they choose. The only reason why they care about who these women choose is because they, some of these women are very attractive, right? That's what they're mad about. But again, looks don't mean shit. Because if you're smart, you're going to understand that part of being a good woman is decision making. And one of the most important decisions a woman is going to have to make is picking the right mate. So if you get with a woman who's horrible at picking a mate, let's just say she picked you somehow though, right? But she's still, she's really... Let's just say somehow she picked you, but really she's horrible at picking men. More than likely, she's probably going to cheat on you or leave you at some point. She's she's not good with decision making. The moment y'all get in a little rough spot, everybody's going to be able to convince this woman to walk out on you. Because she's horrible at decision making. Because you didn't take into account that a woman's decision making is one of the asset is a way more important asset than looks, her looks. That don't mean you neglect the looks. I'm not saying get the tails from the crib, chick. chick. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying is tone that shit down. That look shit, tone that shit down. Stop Stop putting it um, on a pedestal above everything else. In other words, a lot of men, the reason why they pick the bad woman is because of looks. They see all the bad traits, but they ignore it because she looks good. You see what I'm saying? Because if that was a woman they wasn't attracted to, Everything that they see, they're going to hold against that chick. Remember what I said earlier, how they break rules. Men and women break rules for people they're attracted to. They're not going to break these rules for people they're not attracted to. But if they're attracted to you, I don't care about this or that. I know he was flirting with the other girl last night when he was at the bar, but, but he's so sexy. I can't get, I can't, I don't care. My pussy's wet. You know what I mean? She knows it's toxic. But let it be an okay guy in her eyes. She done with you. You ain't going to hear from her no more. But you got to keep that same energy. That's why I tell men, it doesn't matter if she's Beyonce knows or fucking Felicia, dog. Let's hypothetically say you give Felicia a chance and Beyonce a chance, right? It don't matter. The same rules apply for both. That's where y'all fuck up at. You let this one slide because you like her way more than this one. Nah, it's the same fucking thing. And and honestly, that's why a lot of y'all not going to get a woman that you really like a lot. Because when you dealing with a woman you really like a lot, you, you, you act differently instead of treating her just like a normal woman. Like everything has to apply. Like everything. I want respect. I want this. I want that. 
I'm not breaking no rules just because I like you a lot. I'm not going to start smoking weed again just because I like you a lot. All this shit, same rules got applied. Don't matter. <clears throat> and the reason why is because if she's the right one, it's not going to uh, affect anything. But if she's the wrong one, of course you're going to run her off. And that's a win-win anyway. That's why it's important to hold to stick to your guns. Stick to your guns. Oh, you think it's lame because I'm not saying nigga every thousand minutes? Okay, goodbye. Stick to your guns. Because the right woman's going to like that about you. She's going to think you different. She, she ain't going to think that's square. She's going to like that. Because the right woman sees good traits in the man. And understands that these are good traits. Good fruit in the men. The bad ones like the bad fruit in the men. I don't understand why y'all don't get this shit. Why the fuck would you go bad? Why would I turn into a bad fruit when the good women like the good fruit? So do the good men. That's what women don't get. I'm going to cry about good men every fucking day on Facebook. You know what I mean? I'm going to cry about good men every day on Facebook. And become a bad fruit. Instead of carrying myself like a, 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 a basically, you ain't got to be a wife yet, but carrying yourself like a wife. Let's just say a real woman. A solid ass woman. Carrying yourself like that, which attracts good men, good, solid, high quality men. Now, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be a bad bitch because, you know, I think that I want the status and Pookie and Ray Ray like that. And I seem to get more attention that way. Yeah, you're going to get a lot more attention that way. But is it good attention? Here's a good example. Showing your body to a post, not to a guy that you like, but a post. Show your body on a post. Yeah, you're going to get a whole bunch of attention, but I guarantee you the guys that are really solid guys that actually look for the shit that matters in the woman, you know, the good decision-making people that we were talking about earlier, that type of shit that you need in a husband, you need him to make good decisions, right? He's going to see that like, mm, damn, well, I would fuck the girl, but she's showing her body to everybody. I can't pick her. I don't think I like that about her. But the other guys, they're going to be all in because they don't get it. So what do you think going to happen if you, you and that guy got together and now this girl over here is showing her shit? He going to make a poor decision. She don't know. She won't know if I'm fucking somebody. The good guy going to know. That's nice, but I got this at home. I'm not fucking with that. This is what y'all don't get about this importance of decision making when it comes to women and men. The right dude going to make the right decision. The, the wrong guys who make poor decisions and like women for the wrong reason, he going to jump shit. He going to try to fuck and hide it behind your back. And we all know it's going to come to the light. Hey, I'm done talking, man. Either y'all get this shit or y'all don't. I don't, know what the, I don't know what else to say, man. I really don't. I, I mean, I feel like a broken record sometimes. But hey, y'all have a good night.